why should my endurance training have strength work? Uh, so first, let's just define what these two things are. So it, as an endurance athlete or somebody who participates in something that's endurance based, this is more or less what we're lo looking to do is to endure something through a process or something difficult, right? So it's, in, and obviously this falls into category of going longer, right? And so that also can refer to um, <clears throat> what it means to kind of deal with painful stuff because the longer we go with things, the more painful it gets and learning to deal with that creates a very positive influence, even from if we're looking from a psychological standpoint, which there's many studies and things going on about the brain and people who actually go towards pain and deal with pain appropriately tend to not deal with things like chronic pain. Um, that said, we're not here for that. We're here for the why I'm using strength training. So strength referring to being physically strong, stronger, what this doesn't say is that I'm going to get big, massive, and bulky. That would mean, in or, well, in order for that to happen, we would need to just be doing something like this and not be, be doing a lot of this stuff, right? Um, the body is, is interesting in that it only really, it, it'll respond to things in a way that it's actually tested in, right? Repeatedly to create an adaptation. And so if I'm actually training for endurance type events or things that are going to require more time, a lot more aerobic activity, um, I am not go it is going to be very, very difficult for me to put on big bulky muscle. But the irony in this is though, is that the limiting factor of endurance training never seems to be an aerobic condition. It is that pain that comes on and the pain being something of muscular contractions, namely a lot, uh, if we're looking at things like running eccentric loading, the eccentric contractions, tearing of the muscle fibers. You look at things like cycling and swimming, it's not as much eccentric loading, but it is actually contractile. So we have these contractile fibers that are happening and it's the beating up of this tissue uh, that inevitably needs to be repaired in order to get back. That's why you get sore after something, right? Because the tissue needs to be repaired. Ironically, when we actually add in strength training, we can retard or we can actually bolster this process. Meaning retard would mean I'm actually making it more difficult to actually bring on that painful process. Um, and I'm strengthening the tissue to hold up under a longer period of time and be stronger and holding up. So this is why we actually integrate strength training. And for those that do not do that, they will need to apply a lot more long, slow distance training in order to get the benefits of what people can get from strength training. So you can actually drop some volume. Um, granted, you know, if you're at the elite level, that's going to be a little bit less than uh, what it would be at the normal, but that is why we would actually strength train is to actually create a stronger body that holds up under longer periods of stress because the limiting factor is typically in all of these instances and in endurance events of tissue breaking down.